How did NVIDIA become the monopoly of chip makers and can Altman's $7 trillion fundraising plan end its supremacy? NVIDIA is an American multinational company and technology company located in Santa Clara, California and incorporated in Delaware. For more than three decades, NVIDIA has been operating as a business. In the beginning, it was a game firm, but it has now shifted its focus to become an artificial intelligence company. The graphics processing units, or GPUs, and artificial intelligence, or AI solutions, that NVIDIA offers are among the most advanced industry offerings. NVIDIA's GPUs are used in a wide variety of artificial intelligence applications, such as natural language processing, face recognition, and self-driving automobiles. The AI hardware and software market is another area in which NVIDIA is heavily involved. We'll investigate how NVIDIA became the dominant chip manufacturer in this video, as well as if Altman's ambition to raise $7 trillion in funding can put a stop to the company's dominance. So, don't go away. Stay tuned till the end of this video. NVIDIA was established on April 5, 1993 by Jensen Huang, a Taiwanese-American electrical engineer who had previously worked as the director of Coreware at LSI Logic and as a microprocessor designer at AMD. Chris Malakowski, an engineer who had previously worked at Sun Microsystems, and Curtis Priam, who had previously worked as a senior staff engineer and graphics chip designer at IBM and Sun. During a discussion that took place in a Denny's roadside restaurant in East San Jose, the three men decided to establish the firm. In 1993, the three individuals who were responsible for the establishment of the company had the concept that the most promising path for the next generation of computing would be in the field of accelerated computing, more especially in graphics-based processing. The selection of this approach was based on its exceptional capacity to address difficulties that were beyond the capabilities of general-purpose computing technologies. They also observed that video games were one of the most computationally hard challenges and would have a very large sales volume. These two criteria only occur sometimes. In order to reach enormous audiences and finance significant research and development, in order to address gigantic computing issues, the business turned to video games as their flywheel. The company was born with $40,000 in the bank. Following that, the firm was supplied with $20 million in venture capital investment from Sequoia Capital and other investors. Initially, the most prominent association that NVIDIA had was with the provision of graphics processing units for video game consoles, such as the Microsoft Xbox and the Sony PlayStation. NVIDIA was motivated to diversify its business and improve its financial situation as a result of the overall expansion of Silicon Valley throughout the 2010s. In 2014, for instance, NVIDIA and Google announced a partnership that would include the usage of NVIDIA GPUs in Google Chromebooks. Automobile manufacturers have begun to use NVIDIA processors and driver assistance software, which is dependent on GPUs to handle visual input from sensors. Additionally, NVIDIA technology may be present in every Tesla car. During the pandemic, NVIDIA sales increased even more as a result of the move toward remote work and the associated need for data centers that could allow cloud-based computing. Another factor that contributed to this increase was the increased interest in video games that occurred when everyone was confined to their homes. Despite this, the company's yearly sales in 2022 were far lower than those of its competitor, Intel, which totaled $63 billion in the same year. NVIDIA's prognosis became genuinely astronomical around one year and a half ago when the revolution in artificial intelligence began. This was the moment when the company's outlook began to skyrocket. The processors that NVIDIA specializes in, which are collectively referred to as discrete chips, are designed to perform parallel computing applications. One sort of computing is known as parallel, which involves the execution of numerous processes at the same time. Serial or sequential execution of programs is what central processing units or CPUs do. Because of this, the sort of computation that GPUs handle is more efficient and useful than that which CPUs manage. It has come to programmers' attention that the graphics processing units manufactured by NVIDIA are much more suitable for the development of AI applications. 
As a result, NVIDIA is partially responsible for its success since it was the first company to develop the technology that AI applications currently rely on. NVIDIA processors are now being used by practically all the most prominent technology companies in the world, including Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft, and Oracle. Throughout its history, NVIDIA has been a trailblazer in graphics processing unit technology, expanding the frontiers of what is achievable in AI, high-performance computing, and graphics rendering. Gaming, data centers, and AI are just a few of the many industries that use its GPUs due to their stellar reputation for efficiency and speed. To strengthen its product line further and broaden its market presence, NVIDIA has made a number of significant acquisitions throughout the years. In the realms of AI and automotive computing, among other notable purchases, are ARM Holdings, a provider of intellectual property for semiconductors, and Mellanox Technologies, a provider of networking technologies. Even while NVIDIA was once known for its GPUs, the business has since expanded into data center solutions, driverless cars, and edge computing, among other areas. NVIDIA has been able to diversify its revenue streams and lessen its reliance on any one product category as a result. Along with this, NVIDIA has established strategic alliances with other tech firms, which has allowed it to work on many projects together and grow its ecosystem. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, is actively pursuing financing for a new semiconductor project called Tigris to rival NVIDIA in the AI chip industry. Altman's firm intends to enter the lucrative generative AI field dominated by NVIDIA, which now controls over 80% market share and has had substantial market cap growth. Altman has had negotiations with prominent corporations including SoftBank, TSMC, Microsoft, and the UAE to get funding for Tigris, although their specific roles as investors or partners are yet uncertain. He is also reaching out to U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo, since the project needs government permission and the UAE's participation might be a potential issue. Altman's interest in AI chip technology isn't new. He has previously worked in RAIN Neuromorphics and pursued OpenAI's investment in RAIN's chips, highlighting his long-term vision for innovation in this space. Companies worldwide, such as Alphabet and Meta, are increasing their efforts to enhance generative AI, highlighting the strategic significance of Altman's project and the possible changes in the AI chip industry. This action might greatly influence the competitive landscape, posing a challenge to NVIDIA's existing dominance and even altering the trajectory of AI technological infrastructure. OpenAI under Altman's leadership promotes a culture of forward thinking and diversity, highlighting the significance of cooperation across many fields to use collective intelligence. This ambition goes beyond the company's boundaries, promoting collaborations with academics, industry professionals, and policymakers to tackle the complex difficulties of AGI development. Altman's leadership is crucial in advocating for a forward-looking approach to AI research, emphasizing groundbreaking ideas that have positive impacts on everyone. Sam Altman's trillion-dollar effort acknowledges the significance of tackling the obstacles encountered by the semiconductor industry. Altman's strategy to address the chip shortfall involves investing in new manufacturing facilities and doing research on alternate materials. Altman intends to boost worldwide chip production capacity by setting up new fabrication facilities. This would help reduce the present deficit and establish a stronger supply chain for future needs. Furthermore, funding research into alternate materials may result in advancements that decrease dependence on certain resources and improve the efficiency of chip manufacturing. Altman's strategy addresses the current chip scarcity and aims to provide a sustainable framework for long-term semiconductor manufacture. Altman's vision focuses on investing in infrastructure and researching alternative solutions to establish a robust and flexible semiconductor sector that can satisfy the increasing needs of future technologies. In order to propel important technological efforts ahead, collaboration between public and private organizations is very necessary. This is especially true in the creation of powerful artificial intelligence infrastructure. The $7 trillion vision that Sam Altman has for AI and the revolution in semiconductors may be boosted even more by strategic relationships with major semiconductor businesses and research universities. In short, NVIDIA is a corporation that is bringing about a change in the globe. GPUs manufactured by the firm are at the core of a significant number of the most important artificial intelligence 
intelligence applications, and the company's AI business is expanding at a fast rate. NVIDIA is in an excellent position to sustain its expansion in the years to come, and it will likely become a corporation worth $1 trillion in the not-too-distant future. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching!